Hey guys, how's it going? It's Dilmer again and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm really excited because I'm refreshing a video that I did previously on how to build an application for iOS and publish it to the Apple Store. So I'm going to be walking you through the entire process from Unity actually creating the build to the Apple Store where we create the app. I'm actually going to show you how to set up the application ID, the certificate, provisioning profile to the point that you can actually publish and deploy your application to the Apple Store. So let's jump into my computer and I start working on it. All right, guys, so the first thing that we need to do is look at appstore.apple.com. You're going to need that to log in and create apps and also look at the versions that we're going to be uploading, metadata, screenshots. So make sure that you look at that. I'm going to be going back to that. And then the other side, it's going to be developer.apple.com. That's where we're going to be creating our provisioning profile, the app IDs, and some of the additional information that we're going to need to be able to upload. I'm also assuming that you already have an iOS developer license. If you don't, make sure that you go to developer.apple.com and you get a license. So once you get a license and once you can log into the Apple Store Connect, then I want you to do this. So we're going to go into our keychain. So I'm going to hit Command Space to pull it up. Then click on Keychain Access, and then we're going to go into Certificate Assistant, request a certificate from a certificate authority. It's going to ask us for the email. I'm just going to use the email that I use for my game. So I'm just going to say info at dilmergames.com. And then we're going to change the selection to save to the disk. It's going to click on continue. It's going to tell you where to put it. I'm just going to do the desktop and then hit save. Once you hit save, it's going to create a file like this. So that's the file that we're going to use to upload, basically to tell Apple that we are who we say we are. Okay, let's just leave this here on the side so we can go back to that and look at it. Then the next thing that I'm going to do is let's go ahead and go into the developer.apple.com, click on account. Once you click on account, you're going to be using the account that you use to basically to, to get your developer license. And then let's go ahead and log in. I already have this information saved. And then this is going to be the portal that we're going to be using. Let me go ahead and maximize it so we can see more that we're going to be using to manage our certificate or, or profiles. And you can also click here and it'll take you basically to this link right here. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to handle your certificate. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. It's going to say, OK, do you want to create a new certificate? I already had one, but that's OK. We can create a new one. And this one is going to be for development. So I'm just going to select development. Hit continue. It's going to ask us which certificate we want to create. I'm just going to actually to use. So we're going to be just browsing to that. And then we're going to go into desktop and then selecting our certificate. Click on continue. And then it's going to basically create a certificate with your signature and everything that we did on our computer. It's basically telling Apple that, you know, we, we are, in my case, I'm Delmer, and they are making sure that you do have a license that they're gener generating a new certificate for you. So I'm going to click on, on download. You can see that we now have our cert. And if I go here and I hit a space, you can see that here's my Apple development profile IDs. Here, basically, that's the signature. Is using the SHA-256 for security and so on. So I'm just going to go ahead and double click it. And now we should see this basically development profile. Again, if you want to do a distribution profile, all you have to do is go back. And you should be able to do that as well. Click on Add. And then you can say Apple Distribution. That's going to allow you to basically do submissions to the Apple Store or for ad hoc. The process is exactly the same. So I'm going to go ahead and go back. So now that we have these, what else do we need to do, right? Now we need to do, let's go ahead and, and look at identifiers. So I already have an application. So let's say that this is your mobile application that you're building. In my case, this is just a demo. So I just call it AR Draw. So click on File and then Build Settings. And make sure that you click on iOS. In, the, in this case, this is for iOS. And then click on Player Settings. I'm going to close out of this. And there are a couple of things that you need to be, you need to have right. So the one that we need to look at is the bundle identifier. This one is really important. And then, of course, your company name, product name, and version. Those can be anything. I would make sure that the product name matches the last part of the bundle identifier. And then this is basically your domain in reverse. And then the version and the build number. And that's basically everything that you need to do here. So just remember this bundle identifier because we're going to need that. I'm going to go ahead and copy it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and build it. And just go ahead and do build. And it's going to give it a name. I'm just going to say AR Draw and then save it. OK, so while that's building, it's going to create an Xcode project. But we'll go back to that in just a minute. We need to do a couple more things. So it's going to start here. There we go. And I'm just going to move this to the side while, while it's building. OK, so the next thing that you need to do is we go back to developer.apple.com. You're going to go into Identifiers. 
And you can see that all my games are here. A lot of the games, some things that I'm prototyping, they're all gonna be here. So what I want you to do is click on Add, and it's gonna tell you, you know, these are all the different things that you can register. I'm going to register an app ID because we're creating an app. And then it's gonna tell you what the type of the app is. I didn't even know this existed, but we're gonna create an app, right? So we're gonna do App, and then hit Continue. And this is gonna be the description. This is gonna be AirDraw App, and then you can put anything you like there. The bundle ID, I'm gonna be explicit, so I'm just gonna say, I'm just gonna paste it. This is what came from Unity, com.dilmargames. So in your case, it's gonna be com, and then your company name, and then the name of your app. If that is not available, it's gonna tell you that it's not available, so just make sure you come up with a unique name. And then, this is not basically, this could defer to the name of the app, but in my case, I'm gonna make it, if it's not available in the app, in, in the app Store Connect, we can, just, we can just tweak it, but this is just unique to your company. Okay, so I think that's everything we need to do here. This is gonna be some of the services that you're going to be including in your application. In my case, I'm just gonna leave everything as, you know, as it is, but if you were using Maps, or if you were using iCloud to save the information, then you want to make sure that you enable those. Okay, so now let's go ahead and click on Continue, click on Register, and then it says an attribute in provided entity has an invalid value. Let me see what I, let me see what I did incorrectly. Let's go ahead and click on Register. An app ID with identifier com is not, a, oh, okay. So that means that somebody else registered that. I think it was me actually, but that's fine. I can go get, I can, I can click on Back. And then what I'll do is let's go ahead and draw AR draw test. I think that's fine for this demo. But you get the idea by getting the error that it was already taking, and I think it was me already that took it. And then register. So now we should be able to see it here. So if I were to search, we should have it in this list. You can see it in here, it's an identifier. Okay, so now we have an app identifier, we have a certificate, but we don't have a provision and profile. And a provision and profile is what Xcode is going to require in order for us to push to the device and also to push to the store. So let's go ahead and create one. So go into profiles, click on the plus symbol here. I'm going to be doing iOS app development. So click on continue. And then it's gonna tell you here what the app ID is gonna be. I'm just gonna paste what I have in the clipboard. That's gonna be a provision and profile that we're gonna be using for that app. And then click on continue. It's gonna say, okay, which, which of these certificates you're gonna be using I have two, so I'm just gonna select two, but make sure that you select the one that you just created. Click on continue. And then it's gonna tell you, okay, which devices you wanna enable. I'm just gonna say, you know what, I wanna enable all of them. In your case, it's going to be whatever devices you have. Click on continue. And there's gonna be a name of the provision and profile. In this case, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, you know what, this is gonna be AR draw test. And then development, pro development profile. It's gonna be something that you can, you know, you, you can tell that this is a provisioning profile for this app, and then click on generate. It's gonna generate, it's gonna basically tell you that you can download it, so I'm just gonna go ahead and click on download. It's gonna generate another file, and when I click on it, it's going to put in, it's gonna put that in the keychain. So we should be good to go as far as like this provisioning profile. So now that we have that done, let's go ahead and go back into the Apple Store Connect, and I'm gonna go ahead and log in. And then it's gonna ask us for a password. And let's go ahead and hit enter. This is gonna tell, take you to the dashboard so you can look at apps, analytics, sales, payments, and so on. I want to go into my apps because we are going to be uploading a new app. And then you can see that I can look in here if I wanted to see you know, the apps that I already uploaded and they're available in the store, then you can look in here or I can create a brand new app. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a, new, a brand new app. Sometimes there's a delay you know, on on how long it takes for the app ID to be available in the App Store Connect, because these are different portals. I don't know if Apple have the systems in the same environment, so it used to take a little bit of time. So if you don't see it when we click on create a new app, it might, it might just tell you that it's not available. Okay, so your pay application agreement is outdated. Let's go ahead and, okay, that's fine. Let me go ahead and accept the agreement. And it's gonna say, okay, so you might just need to, you know, agree to the terms we basically are selling our lives to Apple in a way. They just have this giant agreement that you have to agree on. Basically it says you have to agree if you want to have your app in our store. So it's gonna just say yes and agree. And should be done here in just a second. There we go, looks like it's done. So now let's go ahead and go back into App Store Connect. And let's see if we can create a new app. I'm gonna go into my apps. 
and let's give it a second here. I'm going to click on the plus symbol and then new app. Now we should be able to go in here. This is going to be an iOS app. And this is basically AR draw test. So I'm just going to say AR draw test. Hopefully this, is, this name is not taken. This name has to be unique in the store in order for you to use it. In my case, I don't think that's going to be taken, but it'll tell us if it doesn't. And then the language is going to be English. The app, the bundle ID, oh, it's already available. So sometimes that takes a little bit of time. So it's going to say, okay, cool. I'll just use that. And SQ, I'm just going to use a unique ID. And then it's going to be AR draw test 001, something like that. And then user access, this is if I, if I had multiple users. Let's say that I had you know, a developer. I didn't want them to see the financial information. Anyways, you can, you can constrain that here. And then I'm going to click on Create. And it should not take too long. But while that is running, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go back into, let's go into Unity here and save the build finish. And I know that it finished because it says build completed. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize it. And let me see, I'm going to make this a little bit smaller and see if we have, okay, so we have our AR draw application here, which is great. Just going to keep that there. Okay, so now that we created an AR draw test application, now we can see, we can look at the activity here. And I believe the activity will show us all the builds that are uploaded. And if it doesn't, we'll, we'll find it. Okay, yeah, this is where all your builds are going to be included. So in our case, we haven't uploaded any builds, so this is empty. But if we go back into the App Store, this is all the information that you need to populate when you upload to Apple. And in fact, somewhere in here, we also have the, if we go into, I think it's under App Information, you can see that this is the bundle identifier, which is the one that is going to match our build. Okay, so now what do we need to do to build it? Let's go ahead and open it up. So once you have this build from Unity, you're going to open up the Xcode project. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open up the Xcode project. And it's going to open Xcode, so make sure that you have the latest version of Xcode. I'm just going to show you what I have so that you have an idea. Let's go ahead and click on About Xcode. This is a version that I have, which is 12.1. I believe that's the latest. And then as far as the operating system, if you wanted to know what I had, just to make sure, I have Mac OS Catalina version 10.15.6. And these are some of my specs, just in case you, if you guys are curious. OK, now let's go ahead and click on Unity iPhone. And remember, this display name should match the display name of the in, in Apple. Otherwise, Apple might reject it. So I might I, I would recommend that you do that. And then also the bundle identifier. Remember, we changed this to test. So that needs to be test. And just so you know, I click on target and then unity-iPhone. That's where you'll be able to see this. And then everything else, I think it's OK. And then obviously, you're going to have to populate your images. So this is going to be your app icon and so on to get it ready. I'm not going to go through that because I want to keep these specific to certificates and also provision and profile. So now that you have these, you need to actually upload it right to Apple. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into signing. And this is the part that is important. If we don't have the certificate set up, this won't work. So what you need to do is you need to select a provision and profile. In this case, it doesn't look like, oh, actually it does have it. So you can see it here, AR draw test. That's the one that we created on the in this portal, developer.apple.com. So now that he knows that it exists, it show, it's showing that as, a, as an option. If you open this Xcode for the first time and you haven't never logged in to Apple, make sure that you go into Xcode and then go into Preferences. And then under Preferences, you're going to go, I think it's going to show you General by default and then click on Account. Here you can log in with your credentials. I already have my own credentials here for different accounts. But in your case, you would need to log in with an Apple ID. You hit Continue. And this is going to be the email that you use to create your license. So make sure you do that. And then you're going to click on Download Manual Profile. It's going to download everything that you created on the, on the developer.apple.com. OK, so now that this is done, all you need to do is just basically archive it and build it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and make sure you have this selected. And it's going to allow you to archive it. So we're going to go into Product and then Archive. And this is going to be creating an archive with this provision and profile. And once this is completed, all we need to do is just upload it. All right, guys, so it looks at like this finished building. You guys can see the archive. So now you have a couple options in here. You can validate your app or you can distribute your app. In my case, I don't think it's going to validate successfully because we don't have images. But let's say that let's pretend that this will work. Click on Distribute App. And this is the next thing that you need to do. We're going to be uploading the application to App Store Connect. So make sure you select that and then click on Next. And then you need to do upload. So I'm just going to do that and then hit next. 
It's going to analyze and making sure, make sure that you have everything set up correctly. So we'll just wait until that part is completed. And then if you want to include big code for iOS development, you can enable that option. Also upload your app symbols. This is so that you can get more error information. It's going to go ahead and leave them as default. Click next. And then we don't have a distribution profile, so it's not really going to allow us to send to upload it until you do a distribution profile. But make sure that you do that. Go through the same process that I just show you. And that should be everything that you need to upload to the Apple Store Connect. Thank you very much, guys. All right, guys, thank you for watching this video again. If you guys have any questions or suggestions, please let me know in the comments. Also, be sure to check me out in patreon.com where I'm basically posting early access source code. Also, what I'm doing behind the scenes. So if you have additional questions, please let me know. Thank you, guys.